Hi folks, Andreas Metzen here from Cabo Momentum Advisory. Today I want to talk about cash with you and why we all will be saying goodbye to our beloved cash soon. You think it's not happening? You think it'll take a long time? No, it's going to happen real soon. Next year it will start. Central banks will issue their central banks digital currencies, so digital dollars, digital euros and so on. And that's going to happen next year. So let's get right to it. Let me talk about it a little bit and give you an overview of the topic. So let's first talk about if this is only just something happening in China or India or the US for that matter. No, it's happening globally. I will leave the website links open so you can see what websites I'm using to show this. I will also put this information in the link. And if you like the video, subscribe and like, it helps me to keep up this good work and the channel here. So let's look at this central bank's digital currency, CBDC it's called or abbreviated. If you think this is something that's not happening globally, just take a look at this map here. Do you see? There's almost no country that hasn't started yet or is not already launching. So if you look around, you see there's a big gap here in uh, Africa. Uh, the usual situation um, a bit behind you see globally there's been a lot of pilots already and or there's already been a launch in one of the countries here so african countries so you see if you look at who is already running pilots and that will be russia kazakhstan china i will talk more about those soon europe with the ecb has already started and united states uh are actually a bit further than just research. Uh, so I think this is not exactly the right color in my view there, that at least in the development phase, respectively, uh, will be starting a pilot soon. So you see globally, this is happening. And I want to talk about timelines now for different uh, jurisdictions, so to say, to give you a feel for what does that mean. And maybe first just to kind of describe what is a central bank digital currency, very simply put, it's just a digital version of a currency that the central bank will issue based on new technology, based on, and I'm wearing the matching t-shirt, so to say, on something similar to a Bitcoin. Uh, I'm sure they will use a different technical mechanism for it. So it's on, based on blockchain technology, which will allow for uh, real-time transactions to occur. Um, and that's a big change in the whole era of uh, technology respectively payments so payments nowadays if you want to transfer money in you know from the us for example elsewhere you will use the swift system that's expensive and it takes times days for um, uh, your transactions to be uh, received on the other end if you're in the eurozone you can do a sepa transaction sepa that can be near time already uh, depending if the corresponding financial institution uh, allows for it um, and is able to receive it or send it in uh, near time. That's already faster, so to say, but it's not a, a global system. So with this new blockchain technology coming in, uh, and you can check out my other videos on, on, on that in the channel that I will create. I have one already on Nexo uh, a platform, which is a cryptocurrency platform that allows you to receive interest on your um, assets that you have on top of it. So for example, 4% on Euro uh, or 8% on US dollar uh, in the stablecoin USDC, for example. So if you want to check that out, I'll put the link in the video here popping up for you to check that out. So back to what is a digital uh, currency issued by central banks. So they use, they are in the process of either preparing for it or have already uh, introduced this, of creating this state-owned, so to say, state-owned technology and use this blockchain technology that's being uh, used in in the cryptocurrency world, so to say, and making use of the tr uh, tr transaction uh, technology for their purposes. There's already uh, so-called stable coins. So for example, you can have a US dollar stable coin that in essence is already some sort of a 
digital currency in real terms that it's pegged one to one to a US dollar. Um, and um, there's USDC and USDT, uh, two abbreviations for two of these uh, stable coins. So there is already something like this and the central banks have realized, well, there's good reasons to use this. So back to it, simply put, new technology used by the governments to issue their currency in a digital format, um, digital different than a digital current euro or dollar because the transactions of course are not have been have not been uh, uh, paper for a long time everything's already electronic in the background but it's based on a new technology which will allow for different things to be done so as you see on the map here uh, there's already a bunch of countries that have researched developed piloted already launched china has launched and i'll talk about this in a moment the us just announced when they will launch their pilot, so to say, uh, or actually, I think this could you could call it a launch. Uh, the ECB has said when they will be done with their pilot phase or their development phase or research, it kind of depends on how you look at it. Here they're called development, uh, that they're in development on this uh, map here. Uh, and India uh, has also uh, already announced that they will start soon. So let's get to these different jurisdictions to give you a feel for. I'll start with the US. So this is from August 29th, 9th, so uh, pretty fresh. So the Federal Reserve calls it Fed Now service and it'll come in mid 2023. So this is a full scale pilot testing for the digital currency that they will be issuing. And so this is not in five years time, this is next year, somewhere in the middle, they will start piloting this. Um, there has been a paper, a study from the Fed on this uh, from January uh, that's uh, worth looking into. Uh, I'm only going to scroll down here uh, for some of the highlights. And by the way, this is a topic that's fairly complex. Many things could be said about this, about what it means, what is, what is it, how is it technically realized, what it means, what it will mean practically, uh, and when this will come into effect positive and maybe negative. So I will likely do more videos on this. So maybe take this moment to subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss on any of the new videos I will do on this. So this uh, study paper from the Fed from January of this year, it shows already a couple of things. Uh, it explains this, the uses, the potential benefits and the potential risks. Uh, and also asking for folks to and organizations and financial institutions to comment on it so to get it right. Um, and the paper outlines here on roughly 30 pages, uh, a good summary, I would say, on, on the topic. And you can you can look at that. Um, I wanted to scroll down to a section here. Big topic is, of course, a payment system and the payment function of it. Um, yeah, so I won't go into more details. Uh, I will just scroll down here and show you. So they have a paper on this already. What they also have is, uh, this is uh, FedNow Instant Payments. So this is kind of their web presence here on, on the topic. And uh, I won't play the video. Uh, it's kind of boring and not very tangible in my view, but it's worth a watch anyway to start getting a feel for it. And they have kind of this, you know, tour and introducing it, uh, what does it mean and so forth um, for uh, users. So this could be merchants, this could be companies that they uh, that they want to attract here. Uh, I'm not so sure how actual is for private people. Um, I have to look into this myself yet. But in any case, it's real, it's happening uh, and you can participate uh, in this. Now let's jump C's here. And let's look at China. Uh, you had the Winter Olympics, uh, I believe it was in the beginning of the year here in February in winter in China, a uh, big topic. And they have used already in the pilot phase, so to say, their uh, uh, digital Huan. Uh, and it was used quite a lot, given that it was a daily... Uh, usage of it of 350 15 to 300 
uh, 315,000 uh, uh, won already electronically used. I guess some uh, news channels were saying 300 million. So it's, it's you know, small money still, but in any case, uh, it's been used uh, and it's already been in transactions. China is probably gonna be first uh, with their digital currency, I would argue. Hong Kong has also CBDC, CBDC uh, in the makings, um, showing also here some how it would work uh, on with a bridge functionality they're using for uh, different, you know, for countries in this case that you can meet there technically, I guess, on, on the so-called M bridge here. So they're quite in the middle of this. They also have a technical paper on this already. So there's lots of things you can uh, look at uh, if you want to get a broader um, view. Point being here, Hong Kong also already uh, on this. India with its rupee also said recently that they will start, and this was recently in April already, that they will launch in 2023 um, with their central bank digital currency. So leaves out in a way Europe. So this is from the ECB here, and they expect to complete the, uh, the investigation phase. I think they're kind of slow. Uh, for the digital euro project in the autumn of 2023 so next year as well that's the uh, investigation phase i'm sure they're working in parallel in some regards to some of the practical aspects of uh, creating it um, there is a website from them where you can look at the publications i op opened this policy panel uh, on digital currencies here it's a nice short presentation it's pretty recent 23rd of uh, august and um, it talks about you know, the, some of the basics here uh, on, on this topic. So I'm not gonna go into detail. The one thing I will say, cause it shows here digital public money um, and that cash usage is dis is declining. Uh, and that's why it's one of the reasons they're introducing this. I would argue, yes, in some ways it is declining. It's easier and faster uh, just to, you know, put your card, be it credit card or debit card or um, a, a debit, credit card, you know, you just put it there. It have, has a wave function. That's what they're called here in Europe. I assume in the US the same. You just hold it. It reads the card with an NFC function. So near field communication for smaller amounts. You don't even have to put it in anymore. And that's that's just more practical. You know, you don't have to pull out the paper, the coins. You know, I myself have not been carrying coins uh, with me for, for many years already. And you should just have some small amount of cash and use my cards. And that's that's how it, you, you can do it. Um, there is an impact though, and I'll talk about this in another video about, well, if you lose this cash function, you know, are they gonna replace it? It's just gonna be digital cash, so to say, just like there's cards could be put on money. They had already this function here in Europe. I'm sure in the US too, where you could have cash on the, you know, on the chip basically. Will they do something similar or is that kind of gonna go away? And what does it mean in terms of if you don't have this um, anymore or do they? What about you know the real-time transaction of it? What about transactions being able to be monitored by the central bank or banks for that matter? Uh, because on the blockchain, everything is documented. All transactions are visible. You can't hide that. So um, it becomes kind of the whole privacy topic of, you know, will the state, will the government be able to see everything up to the point of things like put the state, you know, give a due date for money that is also like if they would put helicopter helicopter money like they're doing big time all throughout COVID and they will be going forward with the um, economy and shadows right now uh, globally where they, you know, dish out money to the to folks who need it, you know, could they say, okay, I'll, I'll give you this uh, digital currency issue to you, but you have to spend it on this type of product, so to say, you know, in this realm, not for anything else. And then if if you haven't spent it within half a year, it'll, uh, uh, it'll fall, you know, it'll have no value anymore. Things like this could be possible and have to be discussed and you have to uh, uh, see what it means. Generally speaking, like we have with cryptocurrency where you can, you know, issue money uh, or transfer money globally within minutes or real time. You know, of course, central banks want to come along and be able to offer this, but they want to keep it sovereign and keep, you know, keep their, keep the hands on it because, you know, it's a state function to, you know, issue money and they want to keep the system that way. 
Um, so um, that's the, one of the reasons why I'm, I'm pushing for it. So here again, ECB with a presentation on uh, on this topic. Have a look at it. I'll put the link in the description. Uh, there's an FAQ on digital euro here but of the ECB um, giving some reasons. Um, for example, would it replace the cash? They say no at the at the current time. Um, I would argue they will eventually uh, phase out cash um, and just offer cash-like functions uh, in their new currency. Uh, I don't think that's coming right away swiftly and they have to phase out cash if they wanted to, but they're for sure going to push their digital currency, in this case, the digital euro, and make it attractive to go away from the cash. You know, for example, they could offer interest on um, the cash that they issue, not the cash, the digital currency that they offer, the digital euro, they could offer cash on this and say, not cash, interest, and then, you know, make you give away your cash, so to say, or any uh, anything that's in your bank now and, and uh, transfer it into uh, a digital euro. Yeah, so that was a bit of a broad across some of the jurisdiction on digital currency here. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you liked it, give me a thumbs up. That helps me uh, uh, with the algorithms here of uh, YouTube. Subscribe to the channel. Uh, I will do more videos on this uh, soon and uh, give some more details about what is a digital currency, maybe in the different jurisdictions, what is the slight differences between it, what are some risks, what are some benefits, and do a dedicated video on this. But cash is in danger, so to say, in terms of being replaced by digital currencies, and it plays into the current um, mood of the world about being in crisis and governments uh, fighting for being first, like in the US, Euro, China, Russia, they all want to keep their positions uh, as leaders. And this currency topic is definitely uh, one to uh, be reckoned with, so to say. So um, stay tuned, like the video, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.